All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how I hook this up on a straight truck. So I'm pulling a um, brand new Kenworth, and I'm gonna show you how I hook it up. And I'm pulling it with my uh, job site wrecker, which I love this thing. So let me flip this camera around, and I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, guys, I'm not gonna tell you how to, how to hook it up. You're gonna have to follow the directions on that. I did add this toolbox, which I really like. I just got it from, uh, from Tractor Supply, and, and they welded these uh, flanges, I guess, that angle on there. And I bolted on, and that worked really good. I keep a lot of stuff in there. All right, so this truck is a little different configuration, but I pull, most of the trucks I pull are similar to this. Occasionally I'll pull something like this Peterbilt where I gotta put a two by four in there and it's a little bit harder to do because this stuff's sticking out a little bit. But the straight truck is pretty easy. Um, you gotta chain these. I dropped all the air, this truck had air. So I, I dropped it, wrapped a chain around the axle. Be as careful as I can to not let it touch the shock. And then uh, this part's just loose, so you can see that. That works out really good. If this truck wasn't a dump truck, I'd probably, since I'm moving new trucks, I'd have put a little rubber pad under there, but this truck's gonna get a box. All right, so with the air down, same thing as up front. Just throw the chain around the outside, chain it. Try to keep it away from that sensor that's right there. The sensor's loose, so it's, it's okay, but it's they're close. And then I just run it straight back to the hook. So right now it's the plate's loose. Here's the deal. Uh, everybody's pulling something a little different. This angle comes with the wrecker and it goes on the other other side. It's got a it's pretty cool that it hooks in. Except it doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. Um, I, I would be scared to death to pull this without this on here. So right now, to be honest with you, I've already put it in wrong. I just did this real quick. This needs to be down so that it keeps the chain from sliding off. Right now it's not. So I gotta, I gotta flip this thing around already. See, got all excited to do this. So let me, let me turn this off and flip it. All right. Uh, I got it right this time. So, as I was saying, this angle comes with the wrecker, but it doesn't have anything welded. So, I'm pretty scared to have that chain fly off there. So, I guess it's for different applications. But for me, I, I had to weld this on. So at first, I didn't want the truck sliding off of it, and I didn't want the chain coming off of it. So, anyway, get your get your chain put on. It's just it's just loose right now. So I'll line this up. And then all you gotta do is just lift it up and it'll start to get really tight and then it'll pull the wrecker right up to it. So it's just now coming off, there it is. It's just coming off the ground and it's up. And I'm ready to go. Well, besides my lights and some other stuff. So it's off the ground. Now, I'm not done yet, of course. There's other stuff to do. I gotta, I gotta run safety chains from here, and I'll run them around the cross member right there, and I'll just have them. They'll just be loose. And you know what? I might have, I might have enough chain. I did last time. I don't know why I didn't think I did this time, but on this, I had to move this. I just roll it. But that's how you do it. It's, it's pretty simple. So I'll let me go. I'm gonna then I'll have to pin it right here. I'll put the pin back through. So let me find a let me find a height that I like. See if I I'll probably use that pin right there. Um yeah, I'm gonna I don't I'm gonna go up more than that. I don't there's no reason not to. I can probably get the second the second pin, yeah. I can get that pin right there. So as you can see, the truck doesn't really have the ride super good, to be honest with you. It, it's not touching, but if I remember right, as it settles in, it's probably gonna touch it. Maybe I could let it down and get it a little tighter. 
but it's all about leverage. This is, these are tightest, man. You can whew, make music with those. All right, that's, that's how I do it. I guess if you didn't have this, you would cross them, but see, I can't cross them with that airbag right there. I, I'd tear that airbag to pieces. I would have to do, shit, I, I don't really know how I'd do it. Maybe, I'm sure somebody else has got a better way. Maybe they can comment, but I would probably put the axle up to here and and you could go down and hook across or something, but I, that's, I just, I don't think that's the way to do it. So this frame is not coming off of here. So it's on both sides. And the chains, as you can see, they're not coming off of here either. What, what I was worried about is when this turns, so if I'm in a hotel or something, which I, I'm gonna be, this is gonna come over here and touch occasionally. And you can kind of feel it, you know it's starting to happen. And that's when it moves around a little bit, or it could. All right, that's all I can tell you. Be safe out there. Thanks for watching my video. Oh, by the way, I do not sell these. Um, you can go right online and buy them. They're in North Carolina. So don't call me. I don't sell them. I just uh, I just use it. And I thought some of my customers might like to see a, a new truck hooked up. And this is a brand new... Uh, this is a brand new Kenworth T880 with an extended cab. That's what I do. I'm in the extended cab business. So this is a 10-inch bigger cab on a brand new camera day cab. All right, man, you're up to date. See you guys.